It's Coach Tom Ferry. Welcome to Life by Design, your place online for ideas, inspiration, and how to stay in the right action. So my team asked me to share a little bit this week and next week about just some of the things I'll be sharing at this year's Success Summit coming up in August, 24, 25, 26. If you're not going to be there, check it out. Here's the dialogue. We're in this big conversation based on the NAR report that came out that said, Consumers today are basically tired of hiring agents that aren't really experts, that aren't really demonstrable great negotiators, hyper-local experts. So a lot of the dialogue we're getting into this year is carving out what does it take to be recognized as an expert in your community. So let's take a look at just four things, and what I'd love for you to do as you're watching this is assess your own business. Find the little tweak or adjustment you need to make either up here or in your activities and marketing to be the expert, to be the obvious choice for the consumers in your marketplace. Number one is an effective consumer-oriented website. Consumer-oriented meaning you know, your user interface is good, you're answering the fundamental questions that customers are asking, you're making search for properties very easy and accessible, you're giving lots of detailed local information about home prices, values, schools, shopping, you know, where to find the, you know, the, the best guy with a hammer, all that local stuff needs to be on your website. So an effective consumer-oriented website as the hub of all your marketing. So your website's in the middle and your phone calls, your marketing pieces, your advertising, um, everything you do is driving back to that website as your 24-hour sales assistant. Number two, geographic farms that, you know, in the last 10 years, we've moved to this all sort of referral-based business and what happened, you know, from say 1995 to 2005, that 10-year span, what happened was our, cons you know, our, our past clients and our referrals drove us all over the county and in some cases all over the state and, and we became generalists. We, we lost the hook, the edge of being an expert. Now what we're seeing today, one of the hottest trends is agents that are dominating are working their geographic territories. 500, 1,000, one of our clients, 17,000 homes in her geographic farming communities where she is a recognized brand name and a recognized expert in real estate. The third one is a willingness, and this is so big, a willingness to passionately answer all questions that people have about real estate, about what's going on, and, and really doing it in an authentic, powerful way without the expectation of, an immediate transaction. And I know that's hard for people, but listen, here's the deal. When you're the expert, you got the knowledge. You're the knowledge broker. You're there to share what's going on and answer those fundamental consumer questions. And truthfully, everything from, you know, um, hey, where do I find the, you know, the best pizza restaurant in town? Because we've just moved here recently and I was told that you're the guy, you're the gal. Two, you know, we've got three properties tied up in a trust and my, you know, my siblings and I were arguing every single day. We're really not sure what to do. Can you give us some insight? From that extreme to the next, the passionate ability to answer those questions and be accessible to people every single day. And then the last one, number four, is demonstrable ability to negotiate and close transactions. It's interesting to me as I talk to friends, like people not in the real estate industry, just, you know, buddies of mine in the golf course, or everyone talks about the same thing today. When they're talking about their real estate professional, they use phrases like, she was able to get the deal done. You know, she was really strong, or, you know, he was really tough and was able to, to make this thing work. That's that demonstrable ability to negotiate and close a transaction, which today, you and I both know, is a major degree of separation. So, my question for you, Right? As I'll be discussing a lot this year at the summit, what do you have to do to become the expert? Of those four, and there's about 10 things I'll be discussing there, of the four, which do you need to make a little adjustment on? Decide right now, make a decision, and you get into action. This is what it's about today. We've got August, September, October, November, December to make sure that you have a great next five months and go into 2012 as the expert in your marketplace. Remember always, your strategy matters, and now more than ever, your passion rules.